Hello everyone, today is going to be a bit of a different video than what I've been doing lately. So I've been waiting for this case since I first saw it back in June, I think it was Computex. It was finally released last month, so I got it and I thought I took you guys along as I transplant my current computer to this new case. Now, the main selling point of this case is that you assemble it yourself, IKEA style. So I'll go over the process of that and give you guys some tips. I bought the macaron version for a hundred on Amazon, but it also comes in the standard black or white for 90. For the extra 10, you get three sets of panels, green, pink, and tan. I'm pretty sure those are not the official color names, but you get the idea. You also get two accessory hooks that I'm using to hold my controller. That one is pretty cool. The cable holder, that one comes with all of them. Now I do wish the macaron version still included the white panels, but I understand why that wouldn't make sense. So it's okay. The instructions tell you to add the computer parts as you build the case. I intentionally didn't do that. I wanted to build the case on its own first and see how easy or difficult it is to move the components in. Because probably I think that's how most people would do it after the first assembly. I know I certainly wouldn't want to take apart the whole case every time I need to change the motherboard. And the answer is yes, you can totally build the case first and then add the parts like any regular PC case. One precaution I have is when securing the PSU bracket, assuming you are mounting it at the front, is to use the regular screws and don't use the single one screw that says PSU secure bracket on the manual. That screw is actually optional. And if you use it, you will need to remove the front structure panel because the screw head is too large and won't go through the hole on the panel. So use the regular A screws. Talking about PSU, my other suggestion is to go with an SFX if you can. It can support ATX, but it's too tight if you have a triple fan GPU the cables can get in the way. If you don't have a triple fan GPU, I think you will be fine with an ATX power supply. The top of the case can support a 280 rad. I tried to install two 140 fans and it was way too tight. The front panel cables get in the way and I didn't want to bend them too hard. This could be worse if you use an ATX power supply because of the power cable extension. You don't know where the bend is going to be, uh, so it's going to get really, really tight. I would say that 240s or two 120 fans is probably the better fit for the top. Other than those suggestions, here is the case assemble. Here is a look with the different colors. We have the mint panels, the pink panels, and the cream panels. Honestly, it didn't take too long. It was a little over an hour for me, but then I was also filming. So I think 20 to 30 minutes is probably a reasonable time frame. Here's a look of the case finish built with all the parts in. Cable management is also quite good with plenty of space and tie down points. At the back, you can also fit three 2.5 drives or you can go with one 2.5 and one 3.5. So I ended up with the mint color since it matches my controller. This was not on purpose. It just happens to be a coincidence. For those who are curious, 
the airflow is also pretty good, I noticed a 10 degree drop on CPU temperatures. This was my previous case. It was a choker. Air was only coming in from the bottom. There was no side ventilation or front ventilation. So the bar was set pretty low. So I leave you guys with a peel. And that's pretty much it for the video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.